So this is an extension to take our five or ten point construction and turn it into something that looks like this. Now I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, it's, it's complicated and it gets confusing. Um, so do your best to try to keep up, pause as often as necessary. So I, I have this drawing which, which we made in the previous uh, class period. So just to help myself out, I'm going to try to erase some of my construction lines now to try to make a clearer drawing for later. So I'm going to grab this object, I'm going to ungroup it, and I'm, this is what I'm going to erase. First thing I'm going to erase is the bird's beak, these orange lines. I don't need them anymore, so I'm going to get rid of them. The second, second thing that I'm going to erase is this red arc here. I don't need that anymore, because I have these points marked with my pentagon. Come on, select it. Doesn't want to be selected. Huh. So it's grouped, that's why. So I'm going to erase this line. Then I'm also going to erase my uh, purple lines. I don't need those either. So I'm going to erase this circle. I'm going to erase this circle. I'm going to erase this intersection, these arcs here. That line. I'm going to erase that line. Oh, I don't want to erase that one. I want to erase this arc, rather. So oh, it's grouped. So I'm going to erase this arc. I'm going to erase this arc. Okay. And finally, I'm going to erase these blue lines here. I don't need them. Okay. And now the last thing I'm going to do is I need these lines to be lighter, much, much lighter. So I'm going to select the whole drawing and turn it a light gray because I need these much lighter. All right, so now we're ready to go for our drawing. So I'm going to select it so I can uh, get rid of it once I have my uh, star drawn. So let's move on. So now I'm going to have to make a second pentagon. And I'm going to do this one in uh, light orange. And my pentagon is going to come from these diameters that I made. So I'm going to connect. Uh, I'll circle it really quick so you can see it. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now I can get rid of those green circles easy enough, which is why I did what I did. Um, we're not going to use them to actually construct anything. So I'm going to connect this point of intersection with this point of intersection here. This point across the middle to, or across to here. Nope, what am I thinking? Green circles right here. From here to here. From here to here. And finally from here to here. Brittany, would you shut the door, please? So now, I'm going to make a second star using my pentagon. So um, let's make this star, I'll, I'll make it bright orange. So from here to here. 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 And you just notice how I'm sort of following the line all the way until I get back to my starting point. So now I have two pentagons. One orange and one gray. Now I'm going to use a, a darker, well, um, I, I'm going to go ahead and make my other pentagon pop out a little bit more. And for me to do that, 
I'm going to have to, well, I'm going to make some more construction lines first so that I, it'll make it better in the end. So the next set of construction lines I'll, I'll do in a light purple. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect points from my orange pentagon to my gray pentagon. So I'm going to connect from here to here, then from here to here. So notice I went to gray to orange. Now from orange to gray, from gray to orange, 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 and now I'm back where I started. So now I have all of my construction lines I need in order to make this drawing. So I'm going to select everything here really quickly so that I can get rid of it easy enough later. I'm going to lock that first. Okay, so now I will select everything. Group it. Okay. So now, obviously, this star is going to be the basis of my drawing. And, and that's going to start here. And you saw the star easy enough uh, before. So I'm going to darken that in. So this is the top of my star. And it follows the gray line that I had earlier to here. And then I follow up here, just like you've made stars in the past on paper, to here. Back up to the top. And this is a kind of a cool thing about odd uh, numbered constructions. Since there's an odd number, you can go from one point to a different point to a different point to a different point, and you never, and, and you'll get to all of the points before you get to the one that you started with. So, you, so it's kind of a unique thing to an odd point construction. I hope that made sense. Now, we need to go from this point to this point, and you'll notice that this line here is parallel to this line here. Well. What intersection are we going to use? Now, obviously, we could use this one here. That line is super, super thin. It's about the same thickness as this line, and yet my star here is going to be so much bigger. So it can't be that one. It could be this one, but then that line is going to be so short, and the line is going to be so thick, it doesn't make sense either. So obviously, I'm going to have to connect this point here with its uh, corresponding point right here. And you notice how the two purples cross the gray diameter to make your um, bottom edge line. And that's going to continue all the way around. So you're going to find an intersection where you have two purple lines and one gray diameter. And that line is going to have to remain parallel with the line that it's following. So that's got to be right here. So then I'm going to follow this top edge here, right there, perfect. So then follow this edge until I get to that condition where I have two, gray, uh, two purple lines and one gray line all intersect at one point. And I follow this edge here back up to the top. And there we have it. So you can see the big star and the little star already in your drawing. And that really wasn't too complicated. Um, it looked a lot more complicated when you had all those lines, but color coding seemed to really help. So I'm going to move this drawing here out of the way. So I can grab it later if I need it. So now I have my star. Now it's about finding the illusion of passing under and over. So I'm going to connect. So I'm going to go under this line here. So 
I'm going to redraw that one. I'm going to actually start over again. I'm going to group this template. So I'll make it a different color. I like this color an awful lot, so let's use this sort of burgundy. So it stops there. This line stops here because it goes under this line here. And then it picks up, goes on top of this line here to there. Same thing here. And then you follow along. So it goes under first, under first, over second, over second, under first, under first, over second, over second, under first, under first, over second, over second, oops, I said over second, I didn't start right here. And for the final line, under first, under first, over second, over second. And now I will move this shape, my template. And now I have my star, and it appears as though it is we uh, weaved inside of itself. And there I have it. Now, another student found another way of going about this, and, and it works. Um, I like my way better, but who doesn't like their way better? So I'm going to pull this drawing back out. So what another student did was, instead of finding these intersections here that I did in purple, what he did was he found the perpendicular bisector. So what he did was he, he took his original drawing, he made his star. I'm going to do this very, very quickly. So he made his star. here. So he made a star there. And then what he did was, actually I have to redo that, hold on a second. So here it is again. So then what he did was he found the perpendicular bisector. So he bisected this. You see a, a previous video for perpendicular bisectors. And so he found his bisector, which is around here, and then that's then he found a perpendicular bisector between here and here, perpendicular bisector between there and there, between here and here, finally between here and here. And so he found those perpendicular bisectors and to connect the inner triangle or inner star. And that will work too. Um, my way has less constructions, but his way may be a little bit easier because it'll end up with less lines. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll show some variations of this later.